rightly say, since I am well established in the Tathagatas, teaching in his Dhammakaya, and my mind is filled with his Dhammakaya. I am a true son of the Blessed Lord, the Buddha, born of his mouth. So the word born of his mouth is only a metaphor. It means mouth is a sacred thing from where truth is to, truth is explained, declared, told through the mouth. And this way it's a metaphor. So he is born of Dhamma. I am born of Dhamma. So I am, I am the true son of the blessed Lord Buddha because I am born of Dhamma. And I am created by Dhamma, not by any god or man or anyone. And therefore I am the heir of Dhamma. And why so? Because, Vasitta, the true nature of the Tathagata is called Dhammakaya, the, the spiritual body of the Buddha. And Tathagata is who? Who is the Tathagata? One who is the embodiment of the ultimate truth. And therefore he is called Dhammakayas, the spiritual body of the Buddha. The Tathagata is the embodiment of the most excellent, because the truth is the most excellent. Hence also he is the supremely enlightened teacher of gods and men. Now this is the translation of the first part of the sutta. It's a long, long sutta. It is going to take time. And if this body continues, well, we'll have the pleasure and the privilege to share with you what little we know. Now, the salient points in this sutta that we have now already read out, there are many more, many salient points of very great importance to every follower of the Buddha, follower of enlightenment, follower of truth. For instance, what was the state of civilization in the time of the Buddha? What were the cultures that created the human beings in the time of the Buddha? And what kind of culture created this kind of story that somebody is born out of somebody's mouth and somebody is born out of his hand, somebody born out of his thigh, somebody born out of his foot, and all that sort of cock and bull story in the name of religion. No, this is how the world is misled. And since they are, these theories become so powerful of being associated with the culture and the civilization of the time. People are all, you see, they become prisoners of their own thinking, of their own dogmas, of their own belief systems. So anyone who wants to get out of these a prison house of samsara must be bold, must become a Veera Purusha, a hero, not, you see, a Ka Purusha, a coward, and a person who dares to be enlightened is not coward, is hero. May you all be happy. Sukhino Bhavantu.